Welcome back to PsychEd. Today, we're diving into the classic research of the behaviorist approach, conditioned emotional reactions by John B. Watson and Rosalie Rayner, better known as the Little Albert Study. This study is foundational in behaviorist psychology and demonstrated how fear could be learned through classical conditioning. Let's break it down. Watson and Rayner aim to investigate whether a human emotional response like fear, could be conditioned. They specifically asked, can fear be learned through association? Will this fear generalize to other stimuli? How persistent is a conditioned fear over time? The answers to these questions would support the behaviorist perspective that all behavior, even emotions, can be shaped by experience. Their subject was an infant named Albert B, who was about nine months old at the start of the study. Albert was described as a healthy and well-developed baby. The study was a controlled observation that took place in the hospital where Watson and Rayner worked. First, Watson and Rayner observed Albert's natural reactions to various stimuli at nine months old to get a baseline for comparison. These included a white rat, a rabbit, a dog, a monkey, masks, and burning newspapers. Albert showed no fear of these stimuli. However, when Watson struck a steel bar with a hammer to create a loud noise, Albert instinctively cried and showed fear. This confirmed that loud noises naturally trigger a fear response, but the animals and objects did not. This was the baseline for their experiment. At 11 months and three days old, the conditioning phase began. Watson and Rayner introduced Albert to the white rat again, but now they paired it with the loud noise of the steel bar being struck. Throughout the study, Watson and Rayner used wooden blocks as a control, something for Albert to play with between tests. Each time Albert reached for the rat, the loud noise was made. Unsurprisingly, Albert cried and displayed fear because of the noise. A week later, Watson and Rayner repeated the joint stimulations of the rat and bar. After several pairings, Watson tested Albert's response to just the white rat, without the noise. Albert now reacted fearfully to the rat alone, crying, withdrawing, and avoiding it. The fear response had been successfully conditioned. In other words, Albert had learned to associate the rat with the loud noise, creating a learned emotional reaction. Next, Watson and Rayner tested if Albert's conditioned fear would generalize to other similar stimuli. At 11 months and 15 days old, Albert was shown a rabbit, a dog, a fur coat, cotton wool, and even a Santa Claus mask with a fluffy white beard. He reacted with fear to all of them, crying or withdrawing, just as he had with the white rat. This demonstrated that conditioned emotional responses can spread to similar objects, even ones Albert had never seen before. At 11 months and 20 days, they tested Albert with the same stimuli and also moved him to a new location to test the fear response, a large, well-lit lecture room. Albert displayed the same fear responses to the stimuli, whimpering and crying and showing signs of distress. Finally, Watson and Rayner tested how persistent the conditioned response was. At 12 months and 21 days old, one month after Albert was last tested, Albert was presented with the white rat again. He was also presented with the Santa mask, fur coat, rabbit and dog. He still showed signs of fear, avoiding the stimuli and becoming distressed, but his reaction was less intense than before. This suggested that conditioned fear can weaken over time without reinforcement, but doesn't disappear immediately. Watson and Rayner concluded that emotional responses like fear can be conditioned through classical conditioning. 
Conditioned fear can generalize to similar stimuli, such as other animals or objects with similar characteristics. Without reinforcement, conditioned fear responses may weaken but persist for some time. The study suggests that emotional responses are not innate but can be learned through experience. This was groundbreaking for the behaviorist approach, which focuses on observable behavior and rejects introspection. Their research helped lay the foundation for modern treatments like systematic desensitization, which is used to address phobias. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more psychology content.